Hey everybody, it's Michael from Royal Elements and today I want to show you a little bit about water slide decals and just give you a brief overview and a tutorial on how to use them. So we have here clear water slide and white. Basically it comes in a 20 sheet package of just blank water slide decal paper that you put in your printer and then you print off whatever design you like. And so I've already gone ahead and printed off two sheets, one of clear and then one of white, and I've already sealed them. So uh, inkjet printers aren't waterproof, the ink that comes out, so you need to seal it with an acrylic sealer. I use Mod Podge. It works really well. I've done three coats, so I've sprayed them, waited about an hour between each coat, and then I've cut them out already a little bit. So what we're going to do is put on a water slide decal that just like this. This is a clear water slide and we're just going to um, put on another couple of clear water slides onto this cup and then a white water slide or two onto this cup just to show you, you know, kind of what the process looks like. So it's called water slide paper because you need a bowl of water to remove the backing sheet from the decal itself. So what you do is you stick it in the water. This is just room temperature tap water. And you hold it in there so it doesn't curl up for a few seconds, somewhere around 10 to 20, maybe even 30 seconds. And all you have to do is make sure that the water gets into the backing paper and that it, um, releases the backing paper from the decal itself so it can slide off. And I'll show you what that looks like in just a second. So yeah, this is clear water slide, like I said. And we're gonna put it on this white glitter tumbler. This is already had, I, I made this myself, it's epoxied. And um, yeah, so clear water slide paper looks better on light surfaces because the edges of this white background, they're gonna display clear once the backing sheet comes off. So that's why people, people, most people prefer clear water slide more, because it's just easier to work with. You don't have to cut as close to the edges. And um, it's just a cleaner, cleaner looking decal. So you take the decal out of the water, put it onto the surface, and you see pull, gently pull, the backing sheet off of the decal itself. You can see the seams a little bit. I could have cut closer, but this is just a demonstration. And um, yeah, so the water allows it to slide around. That's another reason why it's called water slide decal. So you can kind of adjust the placement to wherever you would like. You can move it over all the way over here. And then just kind of wipe away the water with your hands or a paper towel. And um, yeah, so that's clear water slide. See how the backing is clear once you remove, well, the backing sheet from the decal. And then let's do some white water slide here. Stick that in the water. And we're gonna put white water slide on this um, kind of rust colored tumbler and see how that looks. So if you were to put a clear water slide onto a dark surface, because it's clear, it won't show up as well. And I'll show that in a second too. But that's the reason you use white water slide for darker backgrounds and clear water slide for lighter backgrounds. Just give that a second and then we'll put that right onto here. And usually I like to clean off, you know, the tumbler, either use some, some isopropyl alcohol or just water, just to make sure it's nice and clean. You don't want any dirt or anything like that underneath. All right. It's been about 20 seconds. Take it out. And then let's put it over here. 
gonna slide it off gently. See that, the backing comes off and this is white water slide so this background shows. I didn't cut it that closely, but that's one thing to keep in mind. Kind of slide it around, you slide it up. So that's white water slide, okay? Now let's look, look at what a clear water slide decal looks like on this dark surface. So it's not gonna display as well because the dark color in the background and the clear don't mix. It's easier to, to look at and you'll, you'll see what I mean in just a second here. If it's like a really, really light color, like a really light baby blue, you could probably still use white, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, clear water slide, but it's best to use white with a darker color background. Give that a few more seconds. Make sure it can slide off nice and easily. If you don't let it sit in the water for too long, then you might tear the decal, trying to remove it from the backing sheet because it didn't have time enough to release. That's why I like to wait just a little bit longer. That should be good. Okay, so clear. Oops. Clear onto a dark color. See how the color kind of faded a little bit? Not as bright. Actually, let's move it, compare it right next to the white. So the clear water slide on the dark color is faded, but the white water slide looks a lot brighter but you have this edge here to worry about. You could take like an X-Acto blade and go across it carefully, but yeah, so white water slide, clear water slide, but the clear water slide on the white cup, you know, looks pretty good. You see that edge a little bit, you could clean that up, but overall, not too bad. So um, thanks for watching and you can go to our website, royalelements.com. We have um, a few blog posts up and more information if you're interested, all right? Have a good day.